Bye, Moon. I have been very sick for the last like two months with mono. These last two weeks I've just been resting a ton. I had tonsillitis last week, so it was just like, just no bueno. Look who's joining me for errands. This one. Just get two. One for my dad and one for me. This I made sucks. these <laughs> I made these cookies earlier with almond flour, honey, peanut butter. Uh I forgot what else. Oh, coconut oil. I put a piece of chocolate on top and we're gonna have Michael taste test. No oh, god. I don't want to. <laughs> I refuse. I'll take <laughs> they that. smell so good. Just try one. He, he was eating Fruity Pebbles, delicious, nutritious dinner. Try. Can you stop being weird? Just eat it. If you would have just taken a bite I like a normal want person. It. Michael, just try a bite, please. <laughs> just bite out of it. I am. Take a bite out of the chocolate part. Well. <laughs> All right, now, what's your review? <laughs> no, they are good. They're not terrible. The peanut butter is not, I don't like peanut butter cookies. Oh. <laughs> Later famous for thrillers like Psycho, this man directed the silent murder mystery, <gasps> The Lodger. Who directed Psycho? Who is Alfred Hitchcock? Yes, that's correct. The next Jeopardy category is books. Jean Louise Finch is the real name of the girl with this nickname in To Kill a Mockingbird. Who is Scout? Yes, that's it. Our sixth Jeopardy category is pop culture. This beloved sandwich cookie celebrated its 100th birthday on March 6, 2012. Yeah. What are Klondike bars? It's not a cookie. I think it's ice Sandwich cream. Cookies. Oreo? No, the correct response was what is the Oreo? Mm -hmm. I picked up an extra incense burner um, when I bought mine so that I could give my dad one. some brief stretching in the morning and a little bit of meditation just to set my intentions for the day I feel like this gets my day up on the right foot also find that lately I feel the most energy in the morning and the mono symptoms kind of get me in the evening and so I've been trying to be as productive as I can when I still feel up to it um, without overdoing. So yoga and stretching is a good way to get the blood flowing. I also do some cat cows for digestion. I just got breakfast. I am running over to my grandparents' place now to drop off some cookies that I made yesterday because I'm moving soon so I like to go drop by and see them when I can when I'm in the area so I'm out getting some vitamin D now got my favorite kombucha lavender flavored this this suit is from a brand called Amara Tulum. 
It's sustainable swimwear. I'm just gonna swim for a little while and get some sunshine. Just took a shower. I tried out this shampoo bar, Moon Valley Organics Herbal Shampoo, Rose Clay Gentle Cleanse Bar. As I run out of products, I'm transitioning into low waste versions. So when switching from liquid shampoo, your hair may need a short time to adjust. Conventional shampoos strip hair with detergents and coat it with silicones. We only use organic herbal ingredients that clean while preserving the natural moisture of your hair and scalp. You can help this transition by rinsing with a vinegar and water solution and using a nourishing oil during styling. Once rebalanced, your hair will feel different, clean, shiny, and full of body. And I also use a Lush conditioner bar. So we're gonna see how my hair feels tomorrow. But right now, I'm gonna do a little DIY face mask. I'm using bentonite clay. I'm gonna mix it in a bowl with some lemon juice and honey. Bro, why? I literally used like a tanning water on my face last night and I don't know why I always get this one line on my neck. Not a fan. Yeah, healing clay. Okay, um, I'm gonna let this dry. Be right back. I just washed it off and it made my face very red. Tina's coming over and we're gonna make our own jewelry dishes, like little jewelry holders. And it'll be a cute little fun time. We're gonna make vegan muffins as well because I went vegan. I don't know if I said that. I went vegan, but like, Sometimes I'll cheat for pizzeria testa. I put um, Aquaphor in my brows and my eyelashes because I feel like I don't know the hair falls out more when like nothing is protecting them in the night when I'm sleeping and whatever. That's my plan for this evening. I'm now gonna go eat some veggie sushi that Lucia brought for me. Did you see how I can put your teeth? Mm hmm. Mmm. So good. So good. We just discovered all my old polymer clay characters that I made. <laughs> okay, wait, this elephant's so good though. Elephant. We got a tofu. For some reason, I made Jake the dog before I ever even watched Adventure Time. Apparently Not really this is sure. A bunny. <laughs> it looks like a bunny. We're gonna make um, some clay jewelry dishes for our dorms. <laughs> We're making almond flour muffins, and they're vegan, cause we're saving the earth. More taste testing. Taste this, Rob. It's so good. Mmm. Just bought my comforter for my dorm. So excited. Hi guys, my mom's coming. So funny. 
I know. Whoa. Oh, hi. Dropping her off to pick up lunch. And then I'm running to my grandparents and then doing some more errands. I'm here picking up Michael from school. I have my coffee. I haven't drank coffee in so long. Also, I forgot to bring my reusable cup. I usually don't use single-use plastic. I haven't drank coffee in three weeks or a month. It's making me so jittery right now. You guys, I've been researching tragus. Is that how you say it? Tragus piercings, which is just on like this little part. I want one so badly. I think it would be so cute. But you can't wear earbuds for a little while, and I feel like that wouldn't be good for me starting college. Pretty sure that you're not supposed to get a piercing when your immune system is down. Me having been so sick lately, I don't know if that's a great idea either, but I want to get, I've been literally daydreaming about getting my triples done all summer. <sighs> so, Cause I just wanted to get them done before I left for college. They'd be so cute. Anyway, I have my doubles and then this cartilage one. I don't know where my brother is. I've been here for 20 minutes. What the heck? What is this? Who the heck put a fork here? I just saw Oh, that. man. Why? <laughs> How was your day? Good. Went in my house to drop Michael off. Went into my room. And my dog had peed and pooped in my room and Michael's room. So I just finished cleaning that up. We're running errands, looking for dorm stuff. The bruises on my legs are kind of insane. Trying to find some sheets, some organic cotton ones. We literally spent so long yesterday looking for a sustainable comforter. We got one. But they have very similar ones for a fourth of the cost. Sometimes saving the earth is slightly more expensive. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I got today while we were out. Got this from World Market. Butterfly earrings. So cute. Also from World Market. From Home Goods, I got a little journal and then an agenda. I was looking for an agenda that had some sort of recycled paper and like non-toxic ink and stuff. And the ones on Etsy, were so expensive and this was $7.99. Dr. Bronner's soap, I use these all the time for my face and my body and they work as dish soap and for washing your clothes and stuff. Got a Himalayan salt lamp because it was super discounted. And then I just got this new shower curtain because I need to replace mine. I'm taking these coffee grinds to our compost bin. Coffee grinds are really good for compost. It like speeds up the decomposition process. Here are our three compost bins. I'm wearing my Outdoor Voices jogger and sweatshirt set. It's amazing and I love it. It is 6.52 a.m. And I never went to bed. All right, I went to bed, but I never went to sleep. I haven't been able to sleep through the night for like two months, but I've always gotten some sleep, even if it's like just two hours. I could not fall asleep. I don't know what the dealio is. I'm sad because you can't get better and recover from illness if you're not sleeping. It's really frustrating. At least I have very comfy sweats on and I can see the sunrise. At least there's that. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder. Look at how beautiful this tree is. I love the colors. Just coming out to sit in my backyard with some puka detox tea and my Bible. <laughs> Look 
Good morning, squirrel. This looks kind of scary. <laughs> Bye. It's 7.36 and I'm getting myself an acai bowl. I deserve it right now. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm experiencing early morning work traffic that I would usually be asleep for. So that's, there's that. <laughs> Got my acai bowl. It's delicious. I'm so excited. I wonder if it was the coffee I drank yesterday. I didn't drink that much, but it could have just been that I didn't that I haven't drank coffee in so long that it just had a huge effect on me this time. We're on a little walk so that he doesn't pee in my room again. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little frustrated with you yesterday and what you did to my room. But I love you so much. <laughs> did you have a good time? And you're so beautiful. Looking a little better now. I fixed my hair, I have some whitening strips in, got my warm lemon water every morning. I'm gonna try and rest my eyes for 30 minutes, meditate. This is third day hair off of my new shampoo bar and I am so happy with it. I thought that my hair was gonna like freak out but it's great. It definitely feels a little different and it made my hair like hold its natural wave better. But there definitely is a lot of dry shampoo in my hair right now. <sighs> I just got done doing some schoolwork on my laptop. I literally just made the best smoothie ever. It's not that pretty of a color, but oh my god, it's so good. Strawberry, banana, spinach, acai, peanut butter powder coconut water. We're walking to see the sunset. Michael's got my jandals on. <laughs> Run away in my jandals. <laughs> Is that the moon? Ending the vlog now. Good night. Thanks for watching. Sunset's amazing.